do you believe Canada's economy can withstand a second wave of COVID-19? We're going to go under because the only way you either raise taxes, which people aren't huge on, you cut government spending, which is absolutely something we need to, you know, uplift the lower income communities as well. And then the last one is you print off more money, which then our country becomes inflated and no one really respects our money anymore. So it's kind of like a dead end. So no, we will not. And let's pray that we don't get there. Canada is such a big country with such a small population uh, with enri enriched natural resources. Uh, although we suffered a lot in the pandemic, but we can uh, stand by it. Yeah, no problem. Not easily. I don't think that's been spelled out yet as to what the cost of this is and for how many generations it's going to take to uh, replace it. Um, you have to react, you have to do something, but we can't withstand it for very much longer. I think that you've got to get these businesses and the economy going and you've got to, we've got to start opening uh, uh, trade and all the other things that go with that. So we're not very much uh, uh, left with much else to do but to start looking at how we're going to get that going again. And we could be in trouble if we have a second wave, uh, especially here in Nova Scotia. And it's a fine balancing act because I don't think we could jeopardize people's health just for the sake of the economy. I think that um, the more we open, the more danger some people are in. It, it's interesting now, I, I, I was looking, that we've got more cases, but less people hospitalized. So I'm not sure what that says. And I take a look at the statistics thinking that 60% of the people that, that have COVID right now are under 40 years of age. And my fear is that it's going to eventually transmit to us older generations and the seniors in, in homes. So sacrificing those folks for the economy, tough balance. No, I don't think we're going to stay in this one either. It don't matter about the second one. We're, we're, we still haven't seen the outfall of all this. How many of these companies are going to be bankrupt by next summer? There's no tourists in this town. And this is a tourist town. This stopped being any kind of construction or any kind of industrial city long, long time ago. And they ain't got no money coming in now. So how are they going to survive? <laughs> I don't know where they're going to keep getting more money. Like, but that's a hard question. Really hard question. I don't know. I'm kind of lost on that one. Because I can't see how they could just keep another six months of giving everybody 2000 a month. Or, But it might have to be that way. It is worrisome how much money is being spent, but it's also necessary. I think that they're making the best choice they can in a tough time. There's no clear good choice that I can see doing the best they can like everybody else. I believe Canada's economy can st um, stand a second wave of COVID, but we've got to have political leaders that are going to get the economy going and be responsible. And we've got to, instead of just giving out money um, and being popular because you're the one holding out the money, we got to deal with um, getting jobs and stuff like this. In many cases, jobs can continue, um, especially in isolated areas, and we can maintain social distancing and still um, provide for the economy. We got to reduce the red tape for businesses. No, I don't think our economy. We can't keep throwing money at this. It's not going to go away. We have to. We have to clamp down and get a handle on it quickly. It may or may not, it's hard to say because I don't think this is the last um, virus that's going to come along. There could be COVID-21, who knows, right? So we have to be ready for it. It, it depends how we, we react to it. If we shut the economy down, it's going to be troublesome. Uh, I think we've, we've seen from uh, our economy, uh, I mean, uh, the opioid crisis has been increasing since the economy shut down. Now there's a cause and effect right there. So I, we, we, we cannot shut the economy down again. Uh, we need to all be educated on how to respond to it. Um, we have to, you know, follow the rules, wear the masks, uh, do our six feet. Um, you know, that's the only way. We're, there's going to be others. Uh, this is This is the new reality that we live in right now. COVID is, is this year, um, who knows what's coming in a couple of years. So we have to be prepared, but we can't keep shutting the economy down. 
you know what, we've gone through the First and Second World War, etc., etc. Yeah, although we will have to pay our dues down the road. COVID caught us at a time when we are probably the most indebted that we've ever been in the history of Canada. It's not a good time, but hey, if we spend our money and got ourselves in this position, that's just the way it is. I think we have to, just like Bonnie Henry said, take care of each other regardless. If we don't completely shut down, yes. If, if we go back to lockdown, it won't. It'll be hard to get out of that. It, I guess it depends what um, uh, lockdown measures we take. Uh, I, I'm an optimist, so I hope so. I, I trust those at the top will make the right decisions, but uh, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs>